Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Bob and once again some very interesting questions. An individual wrote that their 17 year old son was having swelling in the throat area, um, thought it was a neck or a goiter problem and wanted to know what to do about it. My recommendation would be to have some blood tests, a TSH, a T3, a T4 and a TPO. Those are the tests that we use to assess thyroid involvement. And bottom line is I would treat accordingly. Oftentimes an individual may need iodine. I would encourage you to look at Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones or Dr. Bob's Men's Health the Basics to learn more about how we assess and the protocols that we use for thyroid. But for sure you want those blood tests done and we can do them for you wherever you're at in the world. Someone wants to know about yogurt. They want to know if yogurt is okay, even if it does not have high fructose corn syrup in it, or sugar, or cornmeal, and wanted to know if Greek yogurt was okay. I can only tell you from my experience that for some people, dairy products could, could cause pain in your body, especially your left neck and mid-back area. Chronic sinus problems and digestive challenges can occur because of dairy products. You might be saying, well, Dr. Bob, they have good bacteria in yogurt. I can once again tell you from my experience, from just various research articles, if the yogurt is made from pasteurized, homogenized milk, more than likely the yogurt is dead. Now, there are European yogurts if you're making Yogurt from raw dairy products may be a little bit different, but most yogurts are basically dead. Um, I read information from CSPI. You can Google that or do a search engine on that for more information. Dr. Bob, how do I apply the castor oil pack? Here's a thought. This is lamb's wool. This is castor oil. You would open up the lamb's wool you liberally put the castor oil on the lamb's wool. You're going to put it on your liver and apply a heating pad to that for about 45 minutes. Castor oil will help penetrate the liver and promote optimal liver health. About an hour a week would be tremendous to start proper liver function and the use of the castor oil pack. Dr. Bob, you may recommend cruciferous vegetables to help balance or reduce estrogen. What about those with thyroid disorders? I can also tell you once again from my experience, most thyroid dysfunction is due to lack of iodine. Iodine is antagonized by bromine, fluorine, and chlorine. Only 14% of the people watching me right now in the United States eat their five to seven um, servings of fruits or vegetables every day. But one third of the people in the United States have subpar thyroid function. I can tell you that most people don't eat enough broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower to impair thyroid function, at least of what we're seeing from the diet journals that we do. So I would eat broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower, saute it, steam it, it does not have to be raw. Want to know a little bit about Hashimoto's? Hashimoto's is an autoimmune problem oftentimes is antagonized by gluten. Get off the gluten, I think you'll, you'll do your body very good. Dr. Bob, um, a third cup of beet, what do you mean? Juiced or raw? I bake my beets generally and or raw beet fiber, about a third cup of fiber. I, I always stress it's fiber, it's the actual beet itself and not the juice. Dr. Bob, three weeks after I had my parathyroid gland removed, in March of 2014, I became covered with um, itchy hives. And then they wanted to know what in any association with the parathyroid gland. There are four parathyroid glands located in your throat. And this is what I have learned. Most parathyroid glands enlarge when you don't have enough vitamin D. Parathyroid function impacts calcium. I have treated and helped people with hives with calcium. So yes, in fact, having that parathyroid surgery could be one of the reasons that you have hives. And I also know people with adrenal gland exhaustion can have hives. Wonderful questions. 
probably want to watch this one more than one time. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria. Thank you for watching.